Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. So I want to give you You're such a goofball. You know that? So I want to give you guys the talk, the tea, whatever it is. I might have messed up a little bit here and there the last time that I was talking about how to start YouTube, what equipment I use, what do I have, and stuff like that. So I clearly just did um, what's in my electronic bag and also I have actually two bags because this is my other bag also. So in my just a little summary. I, in my pink and... Here, I'll grab it. In this bag right here, it's just my camera and my iHome speakers, chargers, cords, and um, some batteries also. Just for my camera, I only have three, and I, like, take them out when I'm done using my camera because I don't want to, you know, whatever it could be. So that's what's in there, and then here is just my, this, this, this. And this is my music stand that I like to use sometimes when I'm like filming certain videos or s certain things like that. I do have a, um, a, what is it called? I also have certain things also like um I have I don't have a tripod I wish I had one and I wish I had ring lights too there are some small ring lights that you like I want to switch this fan out into a brighter light and I at least try to open up one of these curtain windows, especially when I'm filming or something like that. Or get more light in here and stuff like that. I know downstairs has more natural light because it has more windows. It just it brings it all in. And that's what I want in my dream home is bright lights with just you know not tons and tons and tons of windows just like enough windows that I would bring the light in or something like that but when it's raining and stuff like that then you would need like more light or something like that so that's why I was that's the first thing that you probably would need is some kind of light. Ring lights, window light, um, like this lamp is like really bright. That's why I like try to turn you guys around a little bit so you're not staring at that light. Because if you stare at that light, your eyes will hurt. I've done that and I should not have. And... I used to have different room. I s still. I. Oh my gosh. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I had a couple of different rooms. I had a room downstairs. I had a room up here. And now I have this room. And I think I like this room better because it has the, t the two windows. And besides the light. Besides the ceiling and light, though. Um, I probably would have TV light if I had it on, but then it do probably wouldn't really work because 
I only watch DVD movies on it, and that's, like, about it that I could do with my TV. So, and that is the first thing is, like, light. Some kind of, you know, whatever. And, two, you don't have to have cameras. You don't have to have any kinds of cameras or something like that. You can use a laptop if you have it already at home. You can use your phone. You can use um iPods, um MacBooks, stuff like that. You can use those if you already have it at home. You don't have to have cameras right away, but in the future if you want a camera or something then yeah you can probably use a camera and stuff like that but I recommend if you want to start YouTube then do it on a laptop on a phone first or an on on um, an iPod or something first I when I was doing YouTube and I didn't have cameras I didn't really barely even had a laptop so I used my phone I use my old phone that I have no clue where it is so I used that one for a while now and then it shut on me and didn't work anymore so then I upgraded into a different one and I, plus it was time to upgrade a different one um and so now, and then since then, I've been doing it either on my phone or onto my two of my old laptops that I've had before, but who knows where they are now. And then now I have this laptop. So I, here and there, I'll do um, vlogs or something like that on my phone or on here, but you usually I like to do them on my phone because like I can do different clips I can turn it off and then turn it back on turn off you know keep going like that with my laptop I can't do that or else I'm gonna lose all of it and it's just not really you know but the app that I use on my phone is filmmaker and it works the best on my phone and I use that for editing um, on my laptop. It's something else. And I've tried to use it. I've used it in the past. And I, well, since I've started. And I used a couple of different ones. I used iMovie before, I think. And then a couple of other ones also. And I'm still trying to figure out the apps of editing and stuff like that. I probably n need to figure something out why different apps is not working on my laptop. And why it's not downloading like it's usually supposed to. Um, things like that. I know vloggers, some people have... They do it themselves, edit th themselves, or some people will have someone else do it. They will film and stuff like that, but then send it over and have an editor do it for them. Because maybe they have kids or they have so much stuff going on or whatever. But for me, I like to edit myself because I like to mess around with it when I'm editing and just make it cool and beautiful and what I like it and what I want and not everyone you know things like that I also have in a folder on my phone and I have YouTube studio subscriber counter um, just a few different other apps like that in YouTube studio is when you click on it and it will show you how many like 
watch times, views, subscribers change, and stuff like that. And plus, when you go down further, you can see of the video here. And, like, the video that I just did is DIY how to make Christmas trees and mini wands. And I just got 7 out of 10, but zero people watched it right now. I know it's going to take a few days or so to have people watch your YouTube or videos. And not everyone likes craft stuff and not everyone likes challenges and you know stuff like that but i do all of it i do challenges i do um crafts cleaning cooking baking stuff like that but some of it's on its way and then if you go down further then you can see your comments down further and plus you can push the view more and it will have a lot more information and stuff like that and then if I go to subscriber counter um hold on it's loading then I can go over to mine and it's right here. So I can keep track of how many subscribers, how many views, and how many videos that I have. And sometimes I also like to write it down. And then like once or twice a week I'll look at it. And if it changes, awesome. If it doesn't, then I'll just leave it alone. That's one other thing is... If your subscribers, if you feel like your subscribers are not going up or your views are not going up or you're not making enough videos or anything like that, then you would need more help with that. And plus, I'm still learning about YouTube, still learning about all these different videos, different music, editing, all of the things that go into editing and YouTube areas. I, here and there, I'll get stuck. Um, I used to get stuck at a dirt, certain dirt, <laughs> at a certain subscriber, and I've had that for months, and now it changed so much since then i've had zero subscribers for a while and then it went to one two three four like that but it literally actually went up to z like from zero to like ten or five or five or ten some in between there and then it was there for a while and then there was more people that wanted to join and came and watched my videos. So then they subscribed because they think they were awesome. The videos were awesome. And they probably wanted some videos probably to watch. Like new ones or something like that. But I am getting into the YouTube stuff and whatnot. And yes, it can be a full-time job also. Now, you have to have a certain, like, certain number, I think, or something like that. I'm not really sure how that all works, but I'm still learning about the money side and also on some of the other stuff. Um, I'm also learning about not using, not only using my camera, but also using different things that I have. Like my phone, I have a camera on my phone, I have a camera on my laptop, I have a camera on 
I think the, those are the main two right now. And, uh, like, how to uh, film videos or how to do this or how to do that. And I was stuck. I didn't know. I was afraid to put myself out there and share the world. But, excuse me. I figured there are, I've been thinking and stuff like that, and there are people out there that need help. They probably look up on YouTube and at, um, see different help and whatnot. Some people are afraid of cameras and stuff like that. Once you get it going and stuff like that then you're like oh yeah I like it then you're gonna like film if you like taking pictures you will love filming and stuff like that but not everyone does though so that's just them and you can use a tripod you could use like um you can stack books up high and you can use books I've done that like once or twice when I was sitting on the floor doing a couple different videos um you can film in your room like sit down videos you could do like all of these different kind of videos that you're probably watching and you're like, oh, I want to do that. That looks awesome. Like, this challenge looks awesome. And, um, just so many things look really cool. Really, re like, re oh my gosh, not guess. You know, different things. Some people will end up editing, making vlogs for at least one or two times a week. And... Then, because they probably have other jobs, or they have other stuff to do, or they probably have school, or whatever they have, it is. And then some people actually quit their job, or retired, or something like that, and they got into YouTube. And YouTube is amazing right now. Because you can meet new people, you can go to vlog a vlog, vlog a fair. Oh my gosh, I'm <laughs> I can speak. You know, or CVX Live, or just certain things like that. And I think you have to um be the first one to either get your seat. There's only a certain amount of tables or whatever, certain areas, and certain people. And then you can meet new people, you can take pictures, you know. You, like, either if you make merch, you can do, you can have, You know, it's just certain things like that. Or some people will bring stickers or um, little business cards as like YouTube, like the YouTube name on it and then your YouTube name and, you know, stuff like that. And it's not like, oh, I'm going to put my Instagram on there or Facebook on there, really. Everyone should know when they're watching videos, um, they can always look down below in the dis- Oh my gosh, now I can't speak! You know, down below there, um, where you can find the Instagram, Facebook, email, stuff like that. Then, it'll be really cool. It's actually really cool. And some people will do have some sayings down there, like I do. Some people have um, just little messages or just a little about, about them or their kids or 
just certain things like that. And I think it's really cool because when you're starting out, you don't have to do that. You don't, you can get into, into YouTube first and see how you like it. You can go from one, like, if you're not comfortable, maybe you should do it at least once, once a week first. And then once you want to get into YouTube, maybe do it twice or three or four or like maybe every single day from Monday to Sunday or Monday through Friday or just certain things like that. I think a lot of people have done that first when they start YouTube. They actually probably did that certain days of the week or weekend or something like that. And then... Once they got used to of YouTube and whatnot, then they actually did YouTube full time job, and they end up doing it like every single day, Monday through Sunday, and then now when they're busy with different projects, different kids, different sports, meetings, all this, all like all of it actually then they will actually do different um different days because maybe it's too overwhelming for them now and they have to take care of their kids first and it's just really cool how when I watch YouTube videos they're not just dolls doing YouTube there's young adults, there are kids, there are, you know, it's just amazing how vloggers do. And there's oh, tons of challenges to look up. There's tons of daily vloggers out there. There's um, just certain, certain things out there that they're doing. And... You can also make different things like I'm doing right now. I'm doing YouTube and doing my side job also. And that's why I'm not always filming every single day. I'm making videos maybe once or twice, three times, four times, whenever I need to, to get some of the videos up. And then that way, every single night, I can edit those and put them up. That's why I'm probably wearing a shirt in, like, a lot of different videos. And you're like, oh, you wore this shirt Monday and it's Friday. That's what happens. And are you wearing, you have your hair the same or something like that. But it is a little bit different for each person. And it's okay. And I'm still learning. And I'm still... A lot of people are still struggling. And still learning. And still thinking. And just so much stuff goes into YouTube. And editing. And just thinking about it. It can be overwhelming for some people. Um, And especially... If you want to have the equipment, like the um, ring lights, the tripods, stuff like that, all the flash drives, um, the SD cards, cameras, just a lot, tons of stuff that you could use for filming. And it's amazing how much you spend on some of that so that's why I go on to my laptop or on my phone well mostly my laptop and go to a, a like Walmart Meyer or Target or a Best Buy one of those four stores and look up cameras look up tripods or um ring lights or something like that and see how much they are if they are a different price than other ring lights are like from Amazon or something like that then you know 
they're not very expensive. The camera that I got, that's not even a hundred dollars. It's like forty dollars. And then the USB um card that I didn't even have, I ended up buying it, you know, a couple extra whatever how much it was. And it's just uh, depends how much you spend. Walgreens has um some SD cards there also, so that's that. So if you guys have any more questions about um editing or YouTube stuff or a side job that I'm actually doing, let me know down below. Or you can go over to inst my Instagram. I'll have that also down below and Facebook. And we'll see you guys next time. Oh, yeah. I can't forget. I'll have also, when I have 50 or more subscribers, I'll have, right now, I'll have all the information of the giveaway down below. And so when I hit that, then I'm ready to give it away. So we'll see you guys next time.